You usually wouldn't equate burn bans with prescribed burns, but that's exactly what some counties are doing to cut down on the risk of wildfire. The idea, if you use a controlled burn now, the area won't catch fire and burn out of control later. Well, THB 11's Vanessa Page shows us how this is supposed to work. There are six prescribed burns scheduled for Arkansas today, and with all the humidity in the air, the Arkansas Forestry Commission says it's the perfect time to do them. Some in the east part of the state, which might be agriculture, crop stubble burns, and then some in the western part of the state, which are going to be forestry-related burns. State forester Joe Fox says prescribed burns are the best tool we have to fight wildfires because sometimes fighting fire with fire is the best option. It reduces the forest floor fuels that feed a wildfire. So that's number one. Number two, they creates wonderful wildlife habitat. This renews the forest floor and attracts insects, turkeys, and quail. While residents are in burn bands in parts of the state, which are in moderate and high fire danger areas, it's the perfect time for prescribed burns. And it's a little bit hotter and a little bit drier, and you can get a little more intense fire, but not too intense. Tuesday, prescribed burns were scheduled for Arkansas, Cleveland, Green, Lafayette, Logan, Monroe, Saline, and Scott counties. Professionals have to make sure they have the ingredients for a perfect burn before they can strike the match. Checking the weather in a specific area, making sure that the relative humidity is over 25 percent, the winds are less than uh, 15 miles an hour. Uh, you can get some pretty good prescribed burn results for the professional wildfire or, or prescribed fire practitioner. Now remember, it's only safe for professionals to do these prescribed burns, but if you have any questions, we have the Arkansas Forestry Commission's contact information for you at THV11.com. Reporting in Little Rock, I'm Vanessa Page, THV11 News.